As a relationship expert, I always emphasize that people should never stop dating, even after they're coupled up. And also, dates should not be mundane, repetitive, or predictable. So for example, don't sit at a restaurant, go out, do something unusual, different, and unique. In this second video in our series about interesting date ideas, I'd like to take you along on one of my recent activities. Museums are generally underrated, but great dating spots. You can share an activity with your date where the environment is pleasant. There are often the basic comforts like clean restrooms, a gift shop, something to eat, and of course, there is much to see and talk about. In other words, there are plenty of icebreakers to spark an interesting conversation. This is how you turn what might be a personal subject matter into a shared experience. And while you do that, you'll not only learn about the museum exhibits, but also about your dates, passions, and interests. Within the plant, work proceeds, but the workers cock their ears for a sound that regularly drowns the clatter of their tools. It is more than a sound, it is a song. This is the song they hear. Here in Chino, California at the Chino Airport and right behind me is a piece of history restored. It is one of the only two remaining B-29 bombers that have been restored to flying condition. I can't wait to check out the inside. Let's go take a look. The story begins in 1939 when the far-sighted Army Air Forces said, we want a plane for our defense that can fly a bomb load thousands of miles out to sea and return. After six months work, there was a tiny model which spent the next six months in a wind tunnel. And then there was a full-scale model which was subjected to every punishment man could devise for it. Only after a year of such tests did the Air Forces let contracts for planes that would be built to fight. The Super Fortress, wingspan, 141 feet, longer than the Wright's first flight through the air at Kitty Hawk. Range, altitude, and bomb load, secret. Though the Air Forces do save them laconically. Very long, very high, and very large. Because it is a global bomber, around it has been built an entire new Air Force, the 20th. The 20th War Theater, is the world itself. 
Its operations room is the war room of the Chiefs of Staff in Washington. Its planes will be treated as a major task force in the same manner as a naval task force is directed against a specific objective. I always say a great date should include three elements. A memorable shared experience, a chance for conversation, and of course, a shared meal. It doesn't have to be something fancy, but it should be something special. For example, In-N-Out Burger is a Southern California institution. It has such raving fans that it doesn't even need to do any advertising. I'm amongst one of them and I am never shy about sharing my favorite hamburger combination off of their secret menu. This location is special because it is the site where the family opened their original location in 1948. Today, it doesn't look much like the original hamburger stand, but it is home to their company store, training facility, and they are so serious about their burger that they even call it the In-N-Out University. So there you have it, something unique for even us Southern Californians. Hopefully this video inspires you to think of aviation museums as interesting dating ideas. Museums like this are all over the US and world, but don't do a lot of promotion. So best way to do it is find them online, get on their mailing list. That way you can stay up to date on all their special events. But be careful, dates at venues like this can easily turn into just hanging out. In our future videos, we'll be covering the differences between the two and how to get it right. And by the way, if you have ideas on topics you would like us to cover in future videos, put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe and we'll see you then.